Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. I asked ChatGPT three questions related to climate, and it got all three of them wrong. The first question was, has the number of 95 degree days increased in the United States over the past 90 years? ChatGPT said yes, and said it was due to the increase in greenhouse gases, primarily from the burning of fossil fuels. This trend is projected to continue with more frequent and severe heat waves expected in the future. ChatGPT sounds very confident with its propaganda. The only problem is it's wrong. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the number of 95 degree days in the United States has declined sharply over the last 90 years and is close to record lows now. In 1936, on average, U.S. stations experienced 36 95-degree days during the year. But over the past five years, none of those years have exceeded 15 95-degree days. And these graphs from the National Climate Assessment show that prior to 60 years ago, heat waves were much worse in the United States than they've been since 1960. ChatGPT got my first question exactly backwards. It spewed propaganda rather than science. And it did just as badly for the second question. I asked, has fire burn acreage increased in the U.S. over the past 90 years? ChatGPT responded, yes, the burn acreage from wildfires in the U.S. has increased over the past 90 years. According to the National Interagency Fire Center, the average annual burn acreage from wildfires in the U.S. was around 3.5 million acres during the 1920s, but has increased to 7 million acres in recent decades. These are some fascinating statistics. The only problem is they're not true. 90 years ago, forest fire burn acreage in the United States averaged more than 40 million acres per year and has declined sharply since then. Here's an article from the New York Times from 1938 discussing almost 22 million acres burned in 1937, and it said that was slightly more than half of the acreage burned in 1936. This was the actual National Interagency Fire Center data, which was on their website during the first week of the Biden administration. Unfortunately, it has since been deleted. It showed that burn acreage was much higher 90 years ago than it has been over the past decade. And here's another document from the National Interagency Fire Center website, which has been deleted by the Biden administration. It showed that burn acreage in the United States is down 90% from the pre-industrial period from 1500 to 1800. So my second question was also a massive fail for ChatGPT. My third question was, is sea level at Boston rising faster now than during the 1950s? ChatGPT responded, yes, sea level at Boston is rising faster now than during the 1950s. The rate of sea level rise has increased significantly in recent decades, primarily due to human-caused climate change. Then it went on to say that its claim was based on data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. But if we look at the actual data from that government agency, we can see that what ChatGPT is saying is simply not true. There's been no sea level rise at Boston over the last 15 years, and over the last 100 years, the rate has been pretty much constant. And looking in more detail, the rate of sea level rise at Boston was higher during the 1950s than it has been in recent decades. On all three questions, ChatGPT got their answer backwards and simply parroted propaganda. ChatGPT has been trained to spread climate misinformation and blame it on the burning of fossil fuels. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this massive scam for the past 15 years, and now it's being spread into the AI world as well. You can visit Toto, Kyrie, Caesar, Toki, Upla, and the four new puppies on the web at realclimatescience.com.